As a child of God, you don't live your life trying to please anybody. If you, did it, if you were not in the first service, you can watch it online. Now, in this second service, the assignment I am giving is on how to conquer hurts. When people hurt you, how to manage it. Now, in our anchor scripture today, I want us to see about three scriptures. We'll see Second Kings chapter 11, 1 and 2. We will see John 15 verse 20. We will see Luke 23, 32 to 34. Then I'll start teaching. I come again, 2 Kings 11, 1 and 2. John 15, 20. Luke 23, 32 to 34. So let's start with the first one. Um, 2 Kings 11, 1 and 2. We are looking at how to handle, and when we talk about hearts, we understand the meaning that hurt is whatever causes you pain. Anything that causes you pain has hurt you. Now, and there are several things that cause pain in the life of so many people. Some people, they are disappointed by somebody they hold in high esteem. Somebody promised them a job. Some, somebody promised them an opportunity. Somebody promised them love. And all of a sudden, the person broke their heart. Now, to some, they were disappointed because they had high expectation. I've seen young people that have told me before that, sir, I'm disappointed in my dad, in my mom, you know, the way they didn't go extra mile to send me to school. Sir, I am hurt. I, re I regret that I, I, I came through that family. Beloved, I have seen people that have been hurt in church. I've seen people that have been hurt in church. They trusted the servant of God. That was the pastor of their life. And the pastor uh, did things that injured them. And some of them have made vows. I won't go to church again. I won't serve God again. I have seen people that unexpected things happen to them. I've seen somebody who did wedding on a Saturday and they were preparing for Thanksgiving on Sunday morning. Her husband died. And she was a Christian. I have seen, I heard one, I didn't see that one. They were having service, wedding service on Saturday. The service was on as a groom was dancing into the church. He collapsed and died. And the bride was still in the car. She didn't know that her husband had died inside the church. Now, hearts, hearts and hearts. Listen, if you don't know how to handle hurt, I'm telling you the fact, it might eventually hurt you. Now, look at this first scripture. And when Ataliah, the mother of Haziah, saw that her son was dead, what did she do next? She arose and destroyed all the seed royal. All the seed royal. Look at verse 2. But Jehoshaphat, the daughter of King Je Je Joram, sister of Ahaziah. Now, if he's a sister of Ahaziah, it means he must be the stepsister of the man who died. Took Joash, the son of Ahaziah. Now, which means the man who died. The stepsister took his son and went to hit the son somewhere because grandma wanted to kill him. Can you imagine? After the death of her son, grandma killed all her brothers. Grandma killed all the grandchildren except this one that went, they went to hide. And somebody will be saying, how did grandma become so wicked? Ah, uh kill -uh. day. Why? Will grandma kill her grandson? And in fact, if not that they hid this one, she will have ended their generation. You know, I took time when I was studying and God placed in my heart that this is where I want you to go in today's message. Listen, it's for you and me to learn. Now, let's take the other two scriptures. The other two scriptures. Uh, John chapter 15 and verse 20. John chapter 15 and verse 20. He says, remember the word that I said unto you. 
the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have what? Persecuted me. Which means if they have attacked me, if they have done so many things to me that is bad, they will also do what? Persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. If they've persecuted me, it means that they will persecute you as well. One more scripture. One more scripture. Luke chapter... Where is that Luke? Chapter 23, verse 32 to 34. And there were also two other male factors led with him to be put to death. And look at, and when they were come to the place, which is called Calvary, there they were, they crucified him. And the male factors, one on the right hand and the other on his left, what were they doing to Jesus? They were nailing him to the cross. And don't forget, he said, if they do this, this to me, they will do to you. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them. For they know not what they do. And they parted his remnant and cast lots. Now, when we talk about hearts, hearts is anything that pains you. Anything that is done to you and you feel pain. Now, I don't know what they have done to you. But you know where you are, what has been done to you that makes, that you are feeling that pain in your heart. You know, I told you on Wednesday that this is where God said I should go. And you are feeling that pain in your heart. Listen, if you don't know or learn how to handle hurtful situations, if care is not taken, you might become an Atalaya. Now, who is an Atalaya? An Atalaya is somebody who allowed what has happened to her to turn her into an evil person. Because of this that has been done to me. I have seen somebody said to me before, but God helped me to convert that person, shall? The person said, sir, we prayed when my father was sick. We fasted when my daddy was sick. We did everything to preserve his life. But my father eventually died. I vowed I will never serve God again. Listen, that's your sister. Thank God all of them are serving God today. Now, listen. The major focus of the enemy to use heart is to make you to become a terrible person. When people hurt you, the devil wants you to become a terrible person. That's the reason why he's allowing people to attack you. So that you yourself can begin to behave like them. But that's not whom you are called to be, become. And for you to understand, at this end time, Jesus our Lord said in Matthew 24, verse 10, one of the things that will be happening this end time is that you will see that there will be mass betrayer. People will begin to betray themselves. People will not be able to hold to covenants. They will not be able to hold to promises. They will not be able to hold to, to, to agreements. Now, then Jesus then said, where am I? Now, and then shall many be offended and do what? And shall betray one another. And shall hate one another. Signs of the end time. People shall begin to betray. And if you look at what is happening today. Are people not hurting people? That you try to help some people. Eventually they bite you. You must understand the target of the enemy. Listen I wrote here. The reason is that. The first thing the devil targets to use hearts. To achieve is to make you develop a vengeful and wicked heart. Every single time people hurt you, the devil wants you to develop a vengeful and wicked heart. But and do you know? That it is against our practice as Christians to have a vengeful heart. I will show you in scriptures. Anyone that decides to fight himself, God resigns from fighting for him. The moment you make up your mind, you fight for yourself, God will resign from fighting from you for you. Romans chapter 12, verse 19. Show us. Why? Why? Look at this. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather do what? Give place unto wrath. For it is written, 
What? Let's read together. Vengeance is mine. I will repay. See the Lord. Only at a copy and sonny to me. Could see that lie to lag barra to let it leak. Nobody has the power enough. That's why don't ever allow the devil to use hurtful things that you are facing to turn you to a person possessed with vengeful kind of heart. Look up. When I was young, I remember we were very, very small. I was in either primary one or two where my dad left us. He left with another woman. I remember my mom could not pay our school fees. We were sent out of school several times. Those days, in the primary school, sent out several times. We went to one of the best schools in town that time, Command Children's School, in the 80s. It was the best school that was raining in those days. I could remember the former governor's children were there. Uh, Oresha, her son, was, in my, was my classmate. My senior was the first daughter of Sonia Bacha himself because he was the GOC of that Ibadan Barakas at that time. It was a very popular school. But my dad left. So they would send us out. We stay outside. Because of it, we started cutting from house to house. My mom could not pay rent. You know, it was, life was like that. Life was difficult. But lo and behold, by the time we all were through with school, my daddy showed up. But I was already born again. I had met Jesus. He had taken over my heart. You know, my mom was angry that what kind of man would show up at this particular time. She was believing that her children would fight and fight the man. But this, these children had already met God. See, I hear now. I didn't hear you. You can do it better. All the women, she, he ran after. No one stayed any longer with him. So he had to return to the family he abandoned. We didn't have choice. We couldn't fight for ourselves. You know, if I decide to fight for myself, hear me, if I decide to fight for myself, the curse will continue. Because if I reject my dad, my children will reject me. See, I hear. So the number one target of the enemy using hearts is to make you develop a vengeful and wicked heart. But don't allow it. Magda. It's painful. Anytime they say in class, how many of you don't have father? I will raise up my hand. When they ask, is your father dead? No. But they say, if you don't have father, raise your hand. You raise your hand. Yes. I don't know anybody I can call father. I've never seen him. It's only my mommy as known as my daddy and my mommy as known as mommy. There are times we come back from school. My mommy will be crying and crying and crying. By the time I go close to her, she's crying because she didn't know what we are going to eat next. But see, the target is this. The devil wants you to be vengeful. And he said, See, God will continue to resign from fighting for you. In fact, God won't fight for whoever can fight for himself. Why does he need to fight for you when you can fight for yourself? That's why he said, vengeance is mine. I know somebody there is saying, Pastor, you don't know my own case. Ah, Pastor, you don't know my own case. They abandoned me by the roadside. Ah, the scripture is written for all. Show us again. Put it there. I want everybody to be looking at it. Romans 12, 19. It's written for, dearly beloved, avenge not to... But all along, when God is said to fight for you, I remember... My father died in my hands. When he was sick, there was nobody available. It was pastor they were calling. Pastor, pastor. It's supposed not to be me now. 
But we allowed God to fight our fight. You to allow God to fight your fight. I don't want to know who has hurt you. But scripture is saying, let's take it from, oh, I love this. He said, don't insist on getting even. That's not for you to do. I will do the judging, says the Lord. I will do what? I will take care of it. Which means God can take care of it. Those neighbors that are wicked, God can take care of it. Those in-laws that are wicked, God can take care of it. Those friends that are wicked, God can take care of it. But God will not take care of it until you allow him to step in. Now, let's go deeper. How then can you manage hearts as a believer? How then do you handle it as a Christian? If God said you should not a fight for yourself. How can you undo it? I will tell you two or three things. Three, then we close the service. What's number one? The Lord said I should tell you, stop meditating about the awful things people have done for to you. Stop meditating about the awful things people have done. Stop thinking about it. Look at me. The more you think about it, the more the wounds become fresh. Thinking about hurtful things makes the wound to be fresh. Three examples. I'll show you three examples. Do you remember the man they call his name Joab? Do you remember Joab? Joab was the army commander of David, of the army of David. There was this time they met in the battlefield. Now, Abner was the army commander of Israel. So Abner and Joab stood together. They said, you are commander of Israel. I am commander of David's army. Let our boys come and play. Give us three, three boys. Let them come and fight. Let's enjoy the fight. While they were busy fighting, the brother, junior brother of Joab stood up and went to Abner and said, I will kill you. I will kill you. Abner said, hey, my brother, I am more brave than you. I have more experience than you. Go away. I cannot face your brother if I attack you. But this boy didn't give up. He kept chasing Abner. Abner now turned and stabbed him. It was in battle time. Years have passed, but Joab didn't stop. Job kept thinking and thinking and th do you know that because he was over processing the negative thing that happened he didn't stop until one day he succeeded to kill Abner he became a murderer if you continue to meditate over negative things you don't know what you can become you can become a monster and you won't know because you have over processed it in your mind Hello, am I communicating? That was the same thing that happened to Absalom. His, bro his brother, Amnon, raped his sister. Absalom did not see anything. For two years, he was thinking about it. Two years, he was meditating about it. Until one day, he just stood up, told his daddy, I want to celebrate my birthday. Daddy said, okay, no problem, what do you want? He said, tell all the king's sons to come. They came. He organized and killed his brother. If you continue to meditate over those, those hurtful things, you don't know what it will turn you into. It can turn you into a beast. So in conquering it, you stop meditating over those hurtful things, awful things that people have said and done to you. Listen, I wrote here, meditation over hearts preserves the wound in your heart. Meditation over hearts preserves the wound in your heart. A minoshile you see, a minoshile you see, a minosheba you saw or see, a minosheba you saw or see, any Thomas or any guy like me. A me by not a me a me. You are still thinking two years, and yet you move on. But a gunye oshi da biwa tuye ke anolo shele kilofa. 
Can I tell you this truth? Everyone look up. Look at me. Use your mind for productive things. Don't harbor in your mind the awful things. Jesus our Lord on the cross because of the understanding he had. You know what he said? He said, Father, forgive them. We have read it. They don't know what they are doing. If they know what they are doing, that's why when my father came back to me, came back, uh, you know, I can, I can remember those days. He came back, he greeted me. How are you? I said, I'm fine, sir. I was already born again. I didn't remember all the, all the bad, bad times. If I had remembered, I would have kept malice with him. No. It's my, yes, I know he's my father, but I will never accept him. And if I keep malice, will I be in good relationship with God? No. So to conquer it, number one, stop meditating over it. Number two, to conquer heart, do not give room to incubator kind of people around your life. You know, there are people that are incubators. They help you preserve. And when you look at my lady, Shade, Mani Shade, Ah, Tani Moli to work here, Lekon, Talupe, Lekon, Shade, Adi Lupe, Ude, Beko, Uti Bagini, Ah, Uti Bagini, Shade, Sister Lupe, Ude, Beko, Incubators, Mulo preach in church, Kon, Many years ago, Uti Pensi, Ati to 10 or 11 years, once she program me any in Kaifele Hall. Once we need a joy your affair. Or your Valentine Day. Now, if it's what in pray, Ulua, Kinney Akuri was sweet, but Oje, Uluani, if fair, key dagba, Nibitio Bassi, and me, Dariji. And it's your bad, let me, Dariji, who lay go key. Ah, Mumani Ulua, Bitibao, only kill Kai Bea ye. Joseph, only be one she share to. But she share to. She o bad daddy G. I want a boy to share. Am I going to? Could she be alone? She might look to the end. She alone will fail under the Egypt. Could the nigga any to ba to my breadwinner family? He must be the one that will save the family. God doesn't need somebody that will go there and prosper for himself. So he need to have a forgiving heart to qualify for that assignment. Am I communicating? So because of his forgiving heart, he was qualified. That's why when he got to the, the land and he saw his brothers, the first day they came to buy food. Ah, I went to I went to But all that he changed it, Joseph. You know, wells used to redesign somebody. Want that moment, but don't that moment. People in it, but want to get food, want to move, want to God look at him that this is the man. So I was now telling them that those of you that are here seated in this church, you have people in your mind, you don't forgive. That's the reason why your prayers have not been answered. And God said I should tell you that if you don't forgive them, your prayer cannot be answered. If you are, if you are like that here in this church, come out. Ah, almost the whole congregation came out. We started that meeting around 7 a.m. We didn't finish until 4 Meeting to Yaka Parin in ten. Pastor Yenny came from one microphone. Konika Lukuma saw, I want to share one. If but he first one did it, a woman fell in my soko. I have been any pastor, pastor, and a vacuum daddy G. Mule daddy Joe, Mule daddy Joe, Moniki Lode. Only Shani Mualo Sodwe, bank money Jani. A few bushes came, more let to rape me in the office. Mother Loyu, he paid him if he be. Mo wa gegun pe koni koni gbo ko laye 16 years after lawa pade gbo marriage to she ko ri omo kan bayi bi won wa din si won ani ki njo ki ndariji mi le dariji mo ba be the question kan lo we mo ni se wo ti wa move forward lati gba yen oni rara ohun re ni fe hun mo le nto to rin eyan mo le ohun kan o le lobi kan kan Oh, 
Only but pastor, then she saw one say, Ah, Motili, it did, Tia Yemi, she didn't need to more. Mo Passe, only my daddy, Jimmo. Second person, my daddy, Lumania, Pastor, ah, 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 Emino, ah, or Camilo Shemi, Kilo Quesh, Awan Yaburu, only Molonio should make it, only Lemi Cro Nule, Lago Kauru. Ibi ti mo tin wa bi ti ma ti so ni mo subu mo finu gba won rush mi do hospital ni daji omo yen ku oni mo wa lo si ori oke meje bi mo se ngun ni mo ni mo ni mo se pe fun pe pastor ni o bo ko ni gbo ko laye e ko de ni didi nu se ranse keep our wicked i now ask her a question madam pastor yen ko oni sir on struggle could I tell you more come by? Ah, only sir, yeah, I poor. Are you getting what I'm saying? You don't harbor incubator kind of people. People that will help you preserve the hearts. People with dictionary minds. People that will help you expand it. The more you put them around you, the more the wounds will remain fresh in your heart. I hear. I'm telling you what God told me to come and tell you today. I wrote here, they will keep talking about it so as to make it fresh in your heart so that you can develop a thread for those involved. And some of you don't know what the power of a thread can do to the person that has it. You know what pain me most? You know what pay me most? I'm on to do me too. Hmm? My mom, we begged her to try to forgive my dad. She insisted no. I forgive him, but we can't sit down together. Do you know that she died before my dad? Baba me loto sin. She chua ya kuli be. He, she live. He, she, my dad even live longer than her. And why was it to incubator friends? They will come and keep telling you, no, they cheated you the way they treated you. No, they are not supposed to treat you like that. Uh, are you a fool? Will you just accept it like this? Uh, no, listen. Jesus, our Lord said, he said, even if your enemy is hungry, what will you do? Feed him. If he's thirsty, give him water to drink. Can I take the number three? How do you manage hearts? How do you manage hearts? Learn to take your hearts to God in the place of prayer. Show me. First Samuel chapter 1, 8 to 10. Emo kanti peni na peni a iwa gaoshi. Elo ni kan kan sha ma pen ran kan ma pen ran kan ma pen ran ni kan lo mo. O lori ko ngo ngbe ko ngbe o eran ni kan lo mo je. Ma ran mo mi se o. Look at it. Then said the Kana her husband to her, "Hana, why weepest thou? And why eatest thou not? Why is thy heart grieved?" Am I not better to thee than ten sons? Next verse. Let's move fast. Let's move fast. We have Thanksgiving. Let's move fast. Verse 9. So Anna rose up after they had eaten at in Shiloh and after they had drunk. Now Eli, the priest, sat upon a seat by a post of the temple of the Lord. Verse 10. And she, she was in bitterness also can you see and did what and prayed unto the lord and wept so she took it to god they hurt you yes i know they hurt you but you don't keep it to yourself you can't handle it if you keep it to yourself you become wicked one of our sisters came to see me sometimes two years ago 
papa, papa, ejo egba mi, ejo egba mi, mo ti bo sowo, mo lowo ki lo bo si. Oni ma yen, ma yen lori internet, eh, mo ro po ibo ni, eh, ajo nsoro, la loro kan sha, papa mo sha ti fun ni photo ihoho mi. Mo wa mo wa ba wi, o de lomo lon ni eh. O nso mo lon o. I led her to Christ. I now said, give me the number of the man. As I called him, he picked his call. He was a Nigerian in Malaysia who went into Yahoo business. He now told me that how he vowed that he would make the lives of women miserable. I said, what happened? He was a member of Assemblies of God Church. Born again brother. Had a young sister in the church that they were dating, that they are having marriage plan. But Am Robert's bought good is shop. His business collapsed. The girl disappointed. And got married to another Christian brother in church. Because of that, he decided he backslided and that he will be making life miserable to girls. He will deceive them with money, take their nude pictures and be pasting it online to collect money from them for life. When he told me his story, you know what? He asked me three questions. I said, what is it? He said, Pastor, if God is real, why will the shop of a born-again Christian be boggled? If God is real, why will the fiancé of a born-again Christian go to another brother? If God is faithful and God is real, why did God not act to do anything? And I quoted the book of uh, Habakkuk. He said, even if the fig tree does not blossom. He said, but yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I told him, you don't judge God by natural things. Anything could be the reason for natural things. You don't understand me. You don't judge God by natural things. I shall tell you, I want to church, don't just see, don't see a lot of teachers there who want their cool. Could you call on my dollar? No, 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 Oni be ni yon ba si kula ni yon se Koni kama koni yon lo jo sande Koda dulo Iwo lo bakabi yon usi On to ba uwa Lo un fili a yeshe It is when we get there we can answer some questions Hello am I communicating? Talk to me Do you know that I ended up converting that Yahoo boy He gave his life to Christ He promised me he will never do that again and he started following our services online. How do you undo us? Look at that number three. Give it to Jesus. Ah, a mini modosi wa juin now. Me, your pastor. I remember in a, the, our, this our church. Ibata marita ti bimo. One of our senior leaders. Senior leaders. Musoro koma maden reni. Oban sofu another person. Kekilo pa wan leni. Thank you, E kun yen da ni yen, on ton du yen, o ti di mouju. To ba de di mouju, a ma aswe di, e yon bourou koulou ma ma aswe da, o ni ki a wantou yen ko o kiman. A wantou yen ko o ba soro, o ni ba wan soro. Wa wa ma da bi di, di go lou gila a liyan, wen yon, a yon ma, o bi yon bourou kou. Ma da lo, wen yon kon, in kon kon loun du yen, ti o de ye a wantou ngwe, God said I should tell you, Take us back to that scripture. We are still in 1 Samuel. Anna lost his wife alone. If you are going to suck me, why do you alone on me? And she vowed a vow and said, "O Lord of hosts, 
If thou will indeed look on the affliction of thy hands made, and remember me, and not forget thy handmaid, but will give unto thy handmaid a man, child, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life, and there shall no razor come. Wait, wait for me, my take the scripture alone. Now, Ejo, everybody look up. It will scripture ye. To baje eniti oshin tara orotonso adua e kolo magba adua wole rukuma magba uluwa rojuina legbo gba mo peni na temi luri gbo peni na tun fimi sheye ye uluwa ina 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 what would that be wrong prayer point and you are praying that prayer because you are hot. Ini o she bi olorun oba. Oni ko le possible I'm a where 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 Baba mi she Oni bi o si I want ko le possible I'm a where 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 Baba ba mi she Oni ti ko sa ye loke ah Oh wa ye fun mi loke Ego go for let me oh Yanu. Let's finish that scripture before I close. While she was busy crying in the presence of God, you you take your pains to God, and it came to pass as she continued praying before the Lord. Then Eli marked her mouth. Move, 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 move. Now Hannah, she spake in her heart. Only her lips moved. But her voice was not heard. Therefore, Eli thought she had been drunk. Eli got to open. I've been eating Motio. But in Kokolundu, and Eli said unto her, How long will thou be drunken? Put thy wine, put thy wine from thee, madam. Throw it away. And look at what she said. And Anna answered and said, No, my lord, I am a woman of what? Sorrowful spirit. She was hot. Stop attacking people because you are hot. So many Yahoo guys today, they, are, they were hot. Who were looking no one could say Yahoo, but doing Yahoo is not the answer. And Kawi, some so many of those kidnappers, they were hot. They went to school, they, they were they graduated from school, but there's no job. So instead of them to take it back to God because they were hot. The thing started growing into wickedness in their hearts. When you nurse pain too much, it grows into wickedness. But Hannah released us. A woman of sorrowful spirit, I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but I've poured out my soul before the Lord. I'll be preaching somewhere by one. Count not thy handmaid for a daughter of Belial. For out of the abundance of my complaint and grief have I spoken it at all. And now look at the answer. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace. And the God, and, and, and the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. Now, will want to say, look at what happened after she released her heart to God. Show me the next verse. She came back after this next verse, next verse, next verse. And she said, Let thy handmaid find grace in thy sight. So the woman went her way and did what? Did eat, and her countenance was no more sad. Why? She had given it to God. Will you give it to God? Now rise up on your feet. Say, Lord, I give to you my pain the hearts in my heart open your mouth and begin to pray you see your husband that hurts you tell it to God now you see your children that hurt you tell it to God now you see your friends that betray you tell it to God right now Lord I surrender everything Lord, I surrender everything. Tell the Lord. I 
Are you praying? I let it go. Now I know that if I keep holding it, I will become a terrible person. Savior. King of Kings, we thank you for the message again this evening. Take the glory. As we release our hearts, may it no longer come back to us. We give them to you. We return with joy. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Have you released those hearts? It will no longer be yours. In Jesus' name. Let's welcome Mama to coordinate the Thanksgiving as the new family has come to thank the Lord today.